Hi, this is Dr. Josh Hant at Lifestyle Locker Radio, and you're listening to episode 002. These are what we're going to call Locker Days, where we review what we heard on our last podcast, the highlights that we like, and what we love. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Dr. Josh Hand, and welcome to the Lifestyle Locker Radio, where we dive into what makes an awesome lifestyle. From relationships to money mindset, nutrition to fitness, emotional health to peak performance, we bring you on an amazing journey to unleashing your human potential. Hey all, on the last podcast, we got to learn a little bit about why we started Lifestyle Locker and why we started Lifestyle Locker Radio. We feel that there's a big need and a big disconnect in our country, in the world, on understanding what true health really is. We've been taught that health is an outside-in process, that you need a pill for every ill, and if we can't do that, we're going to cut something out of the body, and things are going to have to just go on that way. The magic bullet has never, ever worked. It's never been able to have a chemical solution for a structural, functional problem. What has to happen in health is an inside-out job. And here at Lifestyle Locker, what we want to do, what I want to do for you, is to give you those opportunities to become healthy the way you're actually designed to be healthy. Next, financially, money is a huge, huge player. And... I've seen this in my life, I've seen this in in my family's life and other people's lives, that money is really a mindset more than anything else. Money comes, money goes, but the mindset of having an abundance life, an abundance lifestyle uh, versus a lifestyle filled with lack and and, and feeling of being almost broke or poor uh, will kind of just keep leading you down the street in those directions. So we're going to work on connecting you with people that are going to be teaching you how to have the money mindset, how to have the tools you actually need to actually go and grow your money because money is a great thing. You can do a lot of good with your money for yourself, for your family, for society. Next, another thing that's kind of coming to my head now is is relationships. Those are a big thing. And I'm not just talking about, uh, you may be thinking uh, of business relationships or something like that, but your relationships with your family, with the people that you love and interact with every day, there are such amazing tools and amazing things that we can do. And we have these outside-in stressors which may affect our relationships and so on and so forth, so I'm really looking forward to getting you some of that new stuff. Uh, Lastly, I shared something recently on our Facebook page uh, for my chiropractic practice, which I think is fantastic. And what all of you can do and take an action step today to improving your life, improving your lifestyle so you can actually unleash your human potential, here we go. It's going to be a few steps here. So first thing first, in the morning when you wake up, so this is, a, this is a procedure for when you're waking up in the morning. So first things first, what I would love for you to do is when your alarm clock goes off, it puts you right into the stress response, right? You kind of get sh- you know, shaken awake. Uh, What I want you to do is turn the alarm clock off. Don't hit snooze. I want you to lay for a couple minutes. Let your heart rate calm. Let your body calm. Let your body get back into its parasympathetic, its healing state. Next thing I want you to do is think some good, healthy, positive thoughts. Think thoughts of gratitude. And when you sit up, first thing I would like to do is grab a notepad, which you hopefully will have on the side of your bed. Write down a few things you're grateful for, whether it's your family, whether it's for your job, whether it's for anything in life. Write something down. Two, what I want you to do is get up and walk over to the kitchen, get some nice clean water, polish off a a pint of water, you know, 16 ounces of water if you can do that. Uh, It's a great way to just start to enter something clean into the body to start your day. I don't want you putting coffee in. Coffee in right away puts a fight or flight response right into your body. Stress hormones fire. So let's get the water in. Next, I'm going to have you walk over to an area you can do it in your kitchen too. Um, I want you to actually move your body. I want you to actually take some action steps in moving your body. So whether it's getting down and doing some push-ups, that's what I like to do. Do some what they call air squats, or just going up and down, maybe some jumping jacks. Do it where you're not maybe not waking your spouse or your kids up if you're up before then. But go ahead and, and move your body. Try to do it for two to three minutes straight. Okay? Next piece of the puzzle, once we do that and our heart rate's up and we're moving and now our mind is in a, in a really good place, sit down at a table and 
and I, I like to do this and just take out something good to read. Not the newspaper, not Facebook, um, not something that's just going to feed you with, with current news and current things like that. Grab a good positive book um, that you can sit down read it for read for three to five minutes. And if you have this habit daily, your days are going to start off fantastic because I know, like myself, all of you have had the day where you woke up, stubbed your toe on the bed, and then it kind of feel like the rest of the day kind of leads down that road. So let's start off with a positive step so the rest of your day can be fantastic. So that was our first locker day. And remember, we want you to unleash your human potential. Thank you for listening to episode two of Lifestyle Locker Radio. We are glad to have you on board. You know where to find us, facebook.com forward slash lifestyle locker. And you can find me at Dr. Josh Hand on Instagram. Look forward to the next episode to come out soon. Interviews are starting.